Hi, I'm Alison and welcome to Sort of Like Dotty. Um, I'm actually getting into a bit of sewing. I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm going to bed anywhere around 8pm at night. Just get a fatigue that hits me. But on Friday night, I did manage um, to make this Elysian bodysuit, which I've had cut out for absolutely ages. Um, so I'm just wearing it today. I have took some pictures with some Suero trousers. I think these were cut in a size 6 and I've not been able to wear these for maybe two years and um, so yay for the win today and um, so I have got a little video of me wearing this I'll drop that in and um, I'm probably going to chat through what I would alter next time with it but I do really like it I'm really happy with it I think I cut it in a size XL I've got the pattern here to show you so this is Friday Pattern Company there we go and um, a very easy make, as I said. I've had it cut out for ages. It took me an hour to sew on Friday evening. I'm fairly sure I did the extra large. Um, yes, I did. So, um, I did do the sleeves in a black rib and the front of the bodice in a black rib just because I didn't have enough in the plain black um, fabric. So the cuffs are in the plain black. You probably can't even see it on camera, but the sleeves are ribbed. So as you can see, I've got it paired with a little pink cardigan and the trousers. Feels very comfortable. And yes, I haven't took the tag off the cardigan yet. I did realise afterwards. Um, so I've you know, still got a bit of a tum, but yeah, I'm happy with how it worked. I know um, some people are making them as tops. I saw one shared as a dress. For me, I just need to extend the top of the bodice down slightly um, sort of for the cup size. Um, but apart from that, I really kind of like it and I do think I'll make some more. But I wouldn't wear it without a cardigan, as you can see. But check out Friday Pattern Company's um, YouTube channel um, for the so long and more information from Chelsea on there. So, and that, so that was Friday. Not particularly being kind of back in the sewing room since, I'll be honest. I was in bed at six o'clock last night. Um, I have got a fabric to show you, which came from Fleur et Hours a couple of weeks ago, which is a jersey and it's not in stock anymore. I did have a little look. Um, as soon as I saw it, I know I'm kind of the pinks. They are my colours, like this cosy cardi I've got on today, which is shop bought from Primark in the UK. You'll see it on the video. But I just really like this. I think I might have got four metres, so I did get quite a bit of it. And I have got a dress in mind that I'm going to make with it. So it's been washed, but it's very creased. So it's it's a thin, I think it might be a viscose jersey. <clears throat> it's quite thin and um, not overly warm. Um, and I'm currently making a twelve slash hope I can wear it out of the um, the In The Folds at Peppermint magazine jersey dress. So when I made this last year, I made two and I made it in a 16, but I know I need to size down. So I've graded, well, I'm not graded, I've sized down to a, a size 14, which in the finished garment measurements is still a 43 um, and a quarter inch bust, which is still bigger than where I'm at right now. Waist of 46 and a hip of 47 inches. Uh, trying on the other one, um, it's a bit airline, I think. So I do think I'm maybe going to be where the po from where the pockets would have been, if not put them in. And um, because I know I need to do some alterations, I might need to run it straight down, or it may be that sort of from the hips down over, I can grade it in to get the shape that I want. But I'll show you more about that later. Fingers crossed it works. Um, I've added 10 inches, 10 and a half inches to the bottom of it when I cut it out to get the length that I was looking for. It's in this fabric that I had when I had the sewn school. Um, I think this was from Pound Fabrics. It may still be on there. It's um, just got a two-way stretch rather than a four-way stretch. So it's got not a huge stretch, but nice. Um, I think I made a billy jumper out of this, but it's absolutely huge. I don't know where it is. Um, and it's got that little silver, I don't know how well that'll come up on camera, like a little silver sparkle to it. You can sort of see it on the inside as well. You would think it would be quite scratchy, but it's not. Um, so yeah, I've got that cut out. I'm going to start making that now. And it might be later in the week when I check back in and say hello. So I'll catch you then. Hi, welcome back. So today is Wednesday. I thought I'd do a little catch up with where I'm at. So today I'm wearing the... Nell dress, which is by the dressmaker's closet, and um, made this one last year. It's like 
it just was like living in your comfy pyjamas last year wearing these dresses. I do really like them. However, I think I need to drop probably two sizes in this. So it is looking rather large but i've been working from home i've got my thermal leggings on with it didn't need the heating on because i was well wrapped up um, and the fabric was from first for fabrics last year so you might recall the last time i saw you that i was um diving in to make this dress this longer version of the dress so i will drop in some pictures i'll talk to you about it i'm going to show you it feel like it's worked well I really like the length I've definitely got that 100% right and um, the only issue with it is that in this star fabric um, I don't know whether it's because this doesn't have an awful lot of stretch and I have cut it the right way for the stretch across the arms or like I mean, I've literally, when I trimmed the pattern off, it was the tiniest bit. So, I mean, it's probably about five millimetres off either side. So, I've, I guess maybe a centimetre overall. I don't know why I'm doing that. Sorry. Um, but the arms feel snug. So, I wore it yesterday. It was really, co like, comfortable in general to wear. I just wish the arms weren't quite as snug on me. But I think that's going to be quite easy to rectify because this, the fit here fits well on the raglan bit. Um, so, I think what I'm thinking of doing is just altering the pattern pieces ever so slightly. So, um, from where the underarm piece would be, just basically making them slightly wider again. And the, the one that I originally was going to do, which is the fibre mood one, that has sort of a more fitted sleeve and it also has like a wider sleeve so I'm thinking about doing something like that and um, so I'm gonna have a little bit more of a play with it I will drop the pictures in that I took of me in it yesterday um, and but yeah I do like I do really like it like how it fits on me it's ideal for sort of especially days working from home and um, and I'm planning on making some more so that is it just there so what I'm thinking is I've got some black jersey that I think I bought from Charlotte so affordable. Like there's there's nothing exciting to show you. It's black jersey. This is so heavy. It's three meters. It's a, a loop back whatever sort of jersey. I've got no idea. It's a good thickness and it's wide. What I'm thinking I'd like to quite do with it is almost make like a little bit of a loungewear suit. So I'm thinking probably the Soero pants by Friday Pattern Company or the Sapphire trousers by Tilly and the Buttons, leaning more towards the Friday pattern. Um, and I'm thinking of using this pattern again but making the sleeves a bit wider to sort of just twirl this before I dive into the other fabric. So that's where I'm at now. So I'm thinking about making this just as a, like a cropped um, sweatshirt. I might not even put a hemband on it. I might, I might not, I don't, don't know. Um, this is quite thick, so I might just do quite a deep hem in actually in this fabric. It's just for me to wear around the house. I forgot I even had this. I don't tend to buy black fabric, as you know. I tend to like the coloured fabric now. Um, so I just thought, well, there's nothing lost on this. Um, so I didn't get it cut out today, but I might get it cut out tomorrow. That might be a bit of work in progress over the weekend. And on Sunday... It's our um, a Stitch in Time Sewn Social, which is at Tesco at Kingston Park in what used to be the cafe. Um, hmm, might get made there, might not. I'm not sure yet. Forgot about that, actually, so I need to think what I'm going to make there. And the other thing that I've been kind of gently on with this week is this dress, which you'll recognise. I only made it a couple of weeks ago. Remember, it's the top that I hacked with the the dolly top the dressmaker's closet dolly top which i hacked with the um which skirt did i use friday pattern company Danport dress however when i wore it it my daughter sort of said do you not think you need to size down in it it looks quite bulky so i think because i had done the external drawstring when i made the next one like the autumn one i'll drop the pictures in to sort of show you the comparison i brought that in slightly and then i just put elastic in on the waist which to be fair is easier to alter kind of as i you know continue to lose weight so what i've done is i've took the outer um drawstring off 
and I'm just in progress with it. So obviously I've unthreaded that. I've kept that in case I don't want a belt to wear with it. Probably won't, but I don't really know why I've kept it. Um, and I'm just busy unpicking because I'm just going to take the top right off the skirt. I'm going to alter them both and then put the elastic channel in. That might be something I could do on Sunday, actually, because, you know, I'm chatting, I'm so and so doing an alteration might be a good idea so you'll probably catch up with that fitting a little bit better towards the end of next week so i have got some new fabric that's come but it's in the washing machine so and i've got a little well it's not a secret pro project I, in november i'm guest vlogger for felicity fabrics so i'm gonna um I've got that fabric but I can't share that with you yet but I've done a little unboxing and it's been washed but that will wait till the end of November but the other fabric came from a different company so once I've got that washed I'll chat to you about that in my November plans can you believe we're making November plans already and also coming up we've got on this Sunday um, I'll be sharing my soap cycle vlog and then on When's November the 1st? Is that Wednesday? Wednesday, it'll be a gift to November launch. Do not miss that vlog. The prizes are epic. I'm so excited. If you thought last year was good, we've gone up a whole notch since then as well. So everybody that was involved last year is involved again and a whole lot more. And yeah, I'm not going to tell you anymore. Come back next Wednesday and find out. So happy sewing, everybody. Have a lush week and I'll be speaking to you very soon. Let me know what you're up to, as always, in the chat. Give me a little thumbs up for a like. And if you've not pressed that subscribe button, why not? Bye for now.